I am back again to continue going through some of my art projects so let's get started uh, this one here is a 4x4 page um, distress inks in the background I think it's Dusty Concord and some vintage photo and there's also um, it's been sprayed as well um, I can't remember exactly which ink it is on this one but it will be I'm sure on my blog whatever I've used probably a moon shadow ink I think um, or a glit spritz maybe um, another collage image and some primer on there and a little bit of torn paper at the bottom this one here is a postcard with the theme of Mardi Gras and the background is the um, cling film scrunch technique which I think I briefly described on my first art projects video it was either the first one or the second one and then the Mardi Gras mask and the little top piece there um, I cut myself a template and made those out of polymer clay it was black clay which I stamped into and then dusted over with some perfect pearls and then these little bits of blink here they were clear rhinestones and I wanted them to be gold so I took a gold Krylon pen and coloured those and then went round the outside of the um, mask and the top piece with the gold as well did the same with the letters, grunge board letters um, grunge board flourishes and there's flourish stamps in the background too and then some little fibres at the top there so that was the Mardi Gras one this one was a 4x4 with a clown theme the image for this one I just took that off the internet um, there's lots of gesso in the background there um, distress inks in dusty concord and peeled paint um, and Dymo label there and there is stamping in the background as well this one was created for you had to create a shrine for this challenge so I used um, I've got this set of frames um, by Invoke Arts which I used for this put a collage image in the centre there added some little beads at the bottom um, grunge board wings and a grunge board crown and some little beads because there's there's a scallop edge to the, the top of this well, you can see that very well and just a blend of a Durandac colour wash sprays I think on the background there next one is an ATC um, I don't think I created for this for any particular challenge and in fact I don't even know if this one's on my blog um, it was when I got the this Tim Holt set that I wanted to test it out and use it so I just made this with I think it's Dusty Concord and Peel Paint again and walnut stain around the edges and the, the, the little um, typewriter key there is a, a rub on and the little Tim Holtz phrase at the bottom another um, gothic arch again it will have been created for a theme but I can't remember it will be on my blog um, so I think the background is it's a Dirindac inks on this one I think um, I'm not sure of the colours, possibly lettuce, oregano, pesto, or a blend of all of those probably. Um, and then some stamped flourishes, vintage image, and some prima. This one is the bandana technique again. Um, I think the theme was fruit, it was either fruit or pears, one of the two. Um, so I stamped that image and little bits and pieces around it and then highlighted areas with the white gel pen which is uh, obviously part of the bandana technique this one here was a mini arch and you had to create an arch which was ATC sized um, so again um, Collage image used there, colour wash sprays in the background, and there is some stamping, but it's very, very faint. There's a little alphabet in the background there, and there's some torn paper as well. 
that's that one this is a watercolored piece that I did on canvas paper so I stamped the main image and then watercolored around it masked it off and did some more stamping the text and the the other little butterflies there I was quite pleased with how this one came out that. Um, these are oh, these two here these are more recent um, I think I did these just before just before Christmas or just after Christmas one of the two um, these are clay um, shrine houses which again um, like the Mardi Gras piece it's black clay with perfect pearls over the top and it's been stamped into and then I cut out some collage images um, and put some glossy accents over the top so I quite like those two I like this one this is my favorite one and the image there that's a paper whimsy image so if you haven't visited their website go and check them out uh, paperwhimsy.com and there's some absolutely gorgeous color sheets on there that you can buy unfortunately you can't um, download them they're not digital you have to buy paper copies but they are really pretty this here is a tag um, created for an Italy themed um, challenge I can't remember which particular challenge it might have been a tag challenge uh, it might not have been this is it's all um, it's manila tag and then I've stamped onto fabric so the two images here are on fabric and then I sewed with my sewing machine all the way around the tag all around the images um, and then added a little tape measure at the bottom a grunge board piece which says travel and there's some metal um, alphabet circles there spelling out Italy and two little tickets held on with a clip uh, there's that one another tag, in fact there's a couple of tags here that get entangled together this one, um, Distress Inks in the background, this is sort of based on a, a Tim Holtz one, um, one that's probably on his site, I can't remember which elements I took from Tim Holtz, but it wasn't totally my own design this one. So there is some um, Distress Inks in the background and then to age it up a little bit I added some pewter Lumiere paint, I added the grunge board hinges again with the pewter paint and pewter brads and then the little lock and a key at the top that's really tangled in the fibres at the minute there we go and they were inked with vintage photo and then embossed with vintage photo distress powder and then I added a little bit of the pewter paint over those as well and just some fibres at the top and there is another Tim Holtz one here again sort of more or less copied off something that he's done so you've probably seen very very similar things before the grunge board I didn't buy the swirl ones I bought the plain grunge board and I put it through the um, through my big shot using a cuddle bug embossing fold and it came out really really well so if you haven't tried that grunge board works really well with the cuddle bug embossing folders it's fired brick on this side that was patterned paper that grunged up stamped over and the wings have got the crackle accents on them this one here I think it was tea dye in the background of this one on some um, book page this was um, a collage sheet that I bought of typewriter keys and then I put a dome sticker over the top and then I stamped Tim Holtz flourish I've added some grunge board and the Tim Holtz bird as well another tag I can't remember what this one was created for either um, it's got some glitz spritz sprays in the background very similar to glimmer mist um, a little bit more glitzy I think torn paper which I stamped that paper so I stamped it first then tore it up and then a little bit from a book as well and then the little fairy image is a colour sheet image uh, 
and do you know what i'm gonna have to leave it there again because i'm so out of time i will do another part to this okay bye